Hello, welcome to Blender PC. In today's tutorial, we're going to be making a pylon, an electrical pylon that you see in the distance on many games and things like that. Um, you could use it in your own renders, but here we go. Let's begin. First of all, I'm going to add a cube. Um, Puppy. And I'm going to make it 15 meters by 15 meters and 30 meters tall. Next thing I'm going to do is going to edit mode. I'll shrink that down so we can see it. Select edge select, control R, and press the two key to divide it by two. The top I'm going to scale down to scale 0.3. The middle I'm going to actually scale to 0.4 by selecting the edge. Pressing the Alt key to select all edges. Scale by 0.4. And the bottom one I will scale to 0.6 I think. Point, oops, I'll hit the S key to make it scale. S, 0.6. In fact, I'll undo all that. Scale 0.7. No, I will undo that as well. Scale 0.9. Yeah, that looks better. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subdivide this by 2. Select this edge and subdivide this by 4. Control and press the 4 to actually subdivide it by 4. I'll use your mouse wheel. It's entirely up to you. And the next thing that I would like to do is I'm going to select this edge, this edge, and in fact, no, I'm not. I'm going to select this edge, this edge, and this edge. And same on the other side, second from top, that one, and that edge. I'm going to press the E key, press the S key, and then press the X key, because I only want to scale in the X direction. So I take it out to there, and then I'm going to press the S key, and then the Y key, to scale it in the Y direction, which is the green there. Next I'm going to extrude it slightly in the Z direction, which is straight up, by a little bit. And the next thing I'm going to do is join all these faces. So select them two faces, F to fill, F to fill, F to fill, spin it round with your mouse, F to fill, that edge and that edge, F to fill, that edge and that edge, oops, sorry, wrong edge selected. That edge and that edge have to fill and then what I'm going to do is fill in all the holes here so that edge and that edge fill fill all I'm doing there is pressing the alt key because pressing the alt key just selects all the edges so just to fill fill Oops, it? there we go fill All them edges, pressing the Alt key and selecting, and we've got a problem there. As you can see, that has connected to the wrong edge. Easy to fix. Select that edge, press the X key, and then faces. And we'll redo that again. So select that edge. That edge and that edge, and then fill it in again. Press the Alt key and carry on filling until they're all full. Up. Fill. 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 And there we've got it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all faces. By pressing the A key, 
and I've selected all faces. Then select the face select. In fact, I missed an edge there, so just let me fill that in. Uh, check that. Fill. I'm also going to scale the top one down slightly. in the x direction which is the red line scale x make it slightly smaller and then i'm going to subdivide this one by one subdivide this one by one the next one by two the next one by two the other side by two and the last one by three. Same on the other side. Do it by three. There we have it. We've got a rough pile on shape already. It's not very convincing. So what I'm going to do is extrude that top face out. E. And scale it down. So I've got a point on my pylon. And you can see we've got a lovely pylon there. Or what appears to be a pylon. Next thing we do is select face select. Press the 8 key. Right click. And then we use this called poke faces. And as you can see. That's poked all the faces in. And it's made a little cross in every single face. Select face select. I'm going to take that one, that, that one, that one, and that one. And the four on the bottom because I don't need them anymore. And I'm going to press X to delete faces. Take that one out and that one out. And X delete faces and that one that one oops it is it that one 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 and that one X to delete faces again And I think I want a bit of a pattern in. Hmm, which do I do? I'll tell you what, I'll leave it at that for the minute. As you can see, we've got a pylon shape, but it don't look much like a pylon. So go into your spanner or your wrench, whichever you want to call it, add the wireframe modifier. So there is a <laughs> looking through my camera that's not going to help me uh, scale the count and there you have it you've got a pile on all you can do is you can you could keep um, poking faces if you wanted to so I'll poke these faces so I'll poke these faces and it makes that shape and as you can see for every edge you get a Pylon. You can change the thickness of the pylon by changing it here. And you've got even or relative, depending on what you want to select. The smaller the thing is, the more even it becomes. There you have a simple pylon. I'll just save that now, save as. Um, I'm going to save it as pylon 2. If I open up pylon 1, which is one I'd done earlier, no it isn't, if I open pylon 0, as you can see in this one, I've added some little pots and some wires, but it's entirely up to you how much detail you actually put in these things. 
because all you can do you could add nuts and bolts and you could add little feet on the ends of these you know but it's entirely up to you and your imagination and that's it that's enough for that tutorial very short one this time Thank you for joining me on Belender TC. This is me signing off with this tutorial. Please, please subscribe. Pope faces, very useful. It's also useful for making fire scrapes, bridges, all sorts of structures like that. Thank you for watching.